question says the main 2016 physics if you are following Cody the region between two concentric spheres of radii A and B respectively has volume charge density rho is equal to A over R where A is a constant and R is the distance from the center at the center of the sphere is a point charge Q the value of A such that the electric field in the region between the spheres will be constant is now the question talks about electric field we know that electric field is a is is force experienced by a test charge per coulomb right so e can be given as e is equal to f over q right and then you can substitute f as k q q1 q2 over q2 this will con cancel out and also r squared and you will be left with kq over r squared and this is the formula i have used right here right so this, that's what electric field is it's, it's just the force experienced by a test charge per coulomb now um, they're saying that there is a charge q here and then they want to know what would be the value of this a now we know that volume charge density is given by q over v where v is the volume of the given uh, object in this case it's sphere so that's 4 by 3 pi r cubed right so now what else now they are saying that the, at the center there's a charge q and then we have to find out the value of a and then they are also saying that the electric field in the region between the spheres will be constant so number one is that there is a charge density in this region so there are charges here right there are uniform charges and then the field electric field does not changes from here to let's say here so the two points at radius a and radius b so how can we then find the value of a and why does it not changes from here to here is that possible well if there's a charge q here then electric field lines will be go out like this if it's a positive charge and come in if it's a negative charge you can assume either because it will give you the same answer and they have not mentioned whether it's positive or negative so let's say this is positive charge and these are also positive charges so this at this point there will be an electric field due to this and it is dimin diminishing by a rate of 1 over a squared and similarly 1 over a squared plus some value plus some value and so it should diminish but these charges right here they are adding their own electric fields to the already existing electric field of q so even though it is diminishing and at this point it should be 1 over b squared diminished but there are other charges which are adding its electric field right and these lines are just imaginary lines they're just graphical representations right they don't actually exist you can take any point and there will be a there will be a a force on it represented by an electric field right so there is no contact that's why they show it by lines so there are lines everywhere there's no space empty space between these two lines you probably already know that so let's see what is electric field now we just uh, found out that electric field is equal to kq over r squared in this case a squared and k is called electric constant its value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared so now this is the electric field at point a or at radius a just over the inner sphere what is the um, electric field in this region and this is the most important part in this question so the total charge we know that electric field is k times the total charge inside a body over radius squared right so we only consider the charge inside a body in this case all the charges given are inside the body so what would be the total charge it would be q which is at the center this charge plus all these charges over this region and the way that we find out 
all these charges is by using this formula integral of 4 pi r squared dr times a over r why is this the case now let's see what is 4 pi r squared 4 pi r squared is just the surface area of a sphere that's the standard formula for the surface area of sphere and then multiplied by this small value dr what would that be let's say dr is this small value right then this would give us the value this entire expression 4 pi r square dr will give you the volume of this region and if you were to integrate it over from a to b this will give us the volume of this entire region well we know we also know that if we integrate 4 pi r square dr we get 4 by 3 pi r cubed right r square is r cube over 3 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume of the sphere so we have that's why we have used this formula 4 pi r squared here to get the um, this volume this the charge in this volume and we are not exactly trying to find out the volume we are trying to find out the charge so what we are going to do is that we are going to multiply 4 pi r square dr by the charge density right so we just saw that charge density is equal to q or v so q would be rho times v right so this charge density times volume will give you the charge total charge so this is the volume v and then this is the charge density given in the question rho now i thought i would tell you that since rho is equal to q over v it should be q over 4 by 3 pi r cubed in this case or something like that so volume depends on the shape of the given object so probably a is a is a constant but a is something like something like 4 uh, q over 4 by 3 pi r squared right so you can explore this um, this also for solution but it doesn't really works out so we will leave it alone so but if we multiply volume with the given uh, charge density we should get the entire charge over this region and then divided by b squared is the distance from center to the outer outer sphere so then this r and this one of the r's can cancel out and 4 pi and a are constant right a is given as constant so we can take this out we don't need to integrate it the only thing we need to integrate is r and r is r square over 2 right using the formula x to the power n is x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 so what we'll get is eventually 4 pi a so let me take you stepwise so it's given that the electric field does not changes from here to here so electric field here is given by this expression and after that is given by this expression so let us equate the two because that's what give, is given in the question so we get kq over a squared right kq over a squared and then i'm going to multiply both sides by b squared right so this b squared will be cancelled out by a b squared and then k times whatever the expression is i have written it as it is and then this k and this k can be cancelled out what will be left with this q i'm going to send it to the other side right so i'm going to be left with b squared over a squared q minus q and then i'm going to take q outside as common and i'll be left with b squared over a squared minus 1 is equal to what's left on this side 4 pi a and then the integral of r which is r squared over 2 so this r and this r will cancel out and integral of r is r squared over 2 rest of them are constant so i'm going to write them just the way they were and then i'm integrating from a to b so once i will substitute r for b and then i'll substitute it with a minus substitute it with a so i'm gonna get on the lhs this i'm gonna take as lcm so I'll, 
I will get b squared minus a squared over a squared is equal to 4 pi a times b squared over 2 minus a squared over 2 but 2 2 is the same in denominator so I'm gonna take LCM and I'll get b squared minus a squared over 2 and then this, this b squared minus a squared and this b squared minus a squared can cancel out and what we are left with is this will also cancel out so we want to find out a so I'm gonna divide both sides by 2 pi right so this will cancel out and you will get a is equal to q over 2 pi a squared which is option number one so this is how you solve this question I hope